guys this is crystal phillips i am the face behind sunshine sketchbook many people come to me to ask me how do i get my smudge okay now smudge is the real problem for most people when i first started smudging was a big problem to me until i get to know that when you're smudging to the right it should be at the right when you're smudging to the left it should be at the left so now how do you smudge your work one you must know the setting of your smudge brush okay when you pick your smudge brush put the setting on four by four if you are a beginner beginners four by four okay now if you know you are a little bit good put it on eight by two like me i use 13 by two that means my strength is 13 and my flow is two so when i am smudging i get that glowing effect yes i get a glowing effect when smudging okay now i'm going to be making a practical on how you get a perfect smudge or i'm going to be doing a practical on how you get a perfect smudge so i'm going to be using myself as an example so how do you go about it now figure out the the shape of the face of the picture you're working on so now this is my face right this is how it looks like and i'm just going to start smudging from here where i start from when smudging is at the jaw i start from the jaw I smudge the jaw this is how I do it so now when I get here I just start from here to the jaw side and now you can see there's there's a bony structure here okay now I'm just gonna do it to the as if it's coming to the mouth and now when you get to the below eyeball here it's very tricky reduce the size of your brush and then just just smudge through okay just smudge through until you get to this point okay so now this is it when you get to the curvy part of the nose just do it a little reduce the size of your brush and do it a little and when you get to the other side do the same okay and now when you get to the midpoint of the nose just do it up and a little bit down and make sure the size of your brush is at a low standard because if not it's going to ruin your work make sure it is at a low maybe 6.5 or maybe 8 the list is 8 so now just do it up and if you notice that your nose is going flat please undo it if you adhere to this trick that i'm telling you now you are not going to have any problem okay now just reduce the size of your brush and just go up and down and when you come to this upside just do it okay okay and if you notice that the head the forehead is a little bit different you can see there is um when you smudge in a picture you can see the forehead has light lean on it and the other part of the head is a, a little darker so now you cannot smudge the light to the darker part now just just smudge it at the middle okay and make sure the light the light part doesn't spread to the other side because when smudging it spread okay now if you notice the darker part is coming to the lighter part make sure you undo it make sure the darker part is on the darker side don't let it stay in the other side okay now that is how you just smudge it little smudge this place if it's if it is lighter than the other side of the head so that is how you do it you come to this side and do the same follow the cheek how the cheek looks like okay so that is how you arrive at your smudging it's no big deal maybe because i'm already good it's no big deal that shouldn't be a problem if you are a beginner your brush setting should be four by four okay if you are an intermediary let your smudging be on eight by two if you are good you are a professional you can increase your brush to whatever um um size you want to just know that you already know how tricky it is 
so that is how it is there is no big deal about it guys and i also want to advise you be patient when smudging smudging do not demand rush it demands patience be calm if you make mistake undo it okay don't be in a haste undo it and restart again